Right, folks. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the function get selected count um, in ClickView. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text object. I'm going to say um, equals get selected count. I'm going to use customer. So we click OK, and we make a selection on our customers. You can see it's it's saying we've got four customers. Um, what we can do then is, is copy that and um, go back to the original text object and we can say uh, get selected count customer and space and if and we'll copy the first expression. So if get selected count customer equals one, comma so if it's equal to one we're gonna say customer selected and if it's zero or more than one we're gonna say customers selected. So we click OK. See it says four customers selected, and we select just one, it'll say one customer selected. Now this other text object, what we can do is we can if we've got two customers selected, we want to know how many customers are not selected. And that's done slightly differently, so we can say uh, equals count distinct customers customer. So we click OK clear our selection you see it's going to give us the full count well if we make a selection it's not it's just giving us the two that we've selected but we want the inverse of that selection so what we can do is you can add some set analysis and you can say one minus dollar which is the inverse of the current selection so if we click ok it's, it's now giving us 11,200 we select 11 customers it gives us the balance we select 12 it should change it to 11190 again we can use get selected count for a conditional layout so we can say get selected get selected count customer when it's greater than 5 so we click OK we select uh, our five, you see it still doesn't appear, but if we select more than five values, the text object will reappear. So that's um, that's pretty much it. That's a quick video on get selected count. I hope that helps, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.